Tonight, a new chilling report released by the United Nations IAEA agency, that's the International Atomic Agency, and it reveals that Iran is on the brink of having the capability to build atomic weapons. And of course, Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad is denying the claims raised in the report. Appearing on state TV, he said Iran would not retreat one iota from its nuclear program. So what would a nuclear-armed Iran mean for our allies in Israel and the rest of the world? Joining me now now with reaction is Arizona Senator John Mc... The Iranian nation is a wise nation and won't make two bombs against your 20,000 bombs. The Iranian nation will build something that you can't respond to, and it is morality, ethics, believing in God and justice. So there you have it. The war is on between Iran and the, the Federal Reserve, Wall Street... Babylon and the book of Revelation, the bankers, the corporations. So who's going to win, Iran or the banks or Wall Street? The Bible even says that Wall Street have become a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. That's Revelation 18.2, which if you refer back to Jeremiah 5.27, it talks about uh, they have waxen rich. And our liars, that's a cage of every unclean bird. And even Benjamin Disraeli said concerning the bankers, which was centered there in London, he said, London is a cage of every unclean bird, a roost for every bird, sorry. So here you have it. We got the war. The war is on. Iran versus the bankers. And of course, Habakkuk 1.17, talking about the vision of Babylon in the last days. How long will he continue emptying his net, destroying nations without mercy? And also, I had a dream. I was in a dog pen, which represented the world, and there was a lion loose in it. And this lion is Babylon, the banks and the corporations. And I knew I had to kill the bank. I knew I had to kill the lion because you never know when they're going to turn and hurt somebody. Which this is what they're doing right now. Is they're hurting people. They're going to hurt Iran. Which I don't think is justified. If you think it's justified, then you're watching too much media. Too much Wall Street. Too much of their propaganda to enslave another country. Because the reason the banks are over there is because Iran has their own country. They don't have a Rothschild-controlled central bank, a Federal Reserve-controlled central bank. Okay, people, pray for me. I just ate some corporation food, some canned enchiladas, and it's really bogging me down. <clears throat> I'm having a hard time thinking here. Okay. So to finish my dream, so there was a lion loose in the dog pen and I knew I had to kill him because you never know when they're going to turn and hurt somebody. That's the banks and corporations. So I went looking for him. And of course, this is the banks and corporations and uh, their agenda, the New World Order, which they hide in the earth. So I went looking for the lion and I found him hiding underneath of a footstool which is the earth the new world order hides in the earth that's the footstool because God says in, Jer in Isaiah 66 1 he said heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool so when I found the lion hiding underneath the footstool, I picked him up and I placed him in front of me and he was acting innocent. Okay, people, <clears throat> here's ABC Channel 7 somewhere, an ABC affiliate, uh, I guess that's what you call them, or mainstream media, and here they are. Some of the Occupy protesters turned their focus to the nation's big banks today. Dozens of parents and their kids took part in a stroller march through downtown Oakland. They walked to a Wells Fargo bank where the group rallied while mothers...
customers went inside and closed their accounts. Our kids are suffering, and that's not okay. The 99% are here to say that we've got to, it's not fair and that's got to stop. You need to share. My my one and a half year old and my three and a half year old, they know how to share. We teach that to them every day. And yet the 1% and the banks, they don't share. Wells Fargo says they are committed to sharing their resources. In a written response, the bank says, quote, in 2010, we donated more than $219 million to charitable organizations. Locally, we donated more than $20.7 million to Bay Area nonprofits and schools alone last year. I took a screwdriver and I jammed him in the neck and I could see through his neck and I aimed for his spinal cord and I ripped his head off. I poked him in the spinal cord and I ripped his head off. Then I read Habakkuk 3.14 which says you went out for the salvation of thy people even for thine anointed you wounded the head of the house of the wicked by discovering the foundation unto the neck and how are we gonna discover the foundation unto the neck how are we gonna paralyze Babylon and that is what the protesters are doing Jeremiah 50 verse 2 Declare ye among the nations and publish. Raise up a banner and hold nothing back but say, Babylon is captured. and make this a tiny bit better. This, these are people talking about, we've had enough of the whole system. If, if the people that are in charge don't understand the severity of what's going on here and don't sense deep frustration and anger of the American people, they might get Malcolm X before they get Martin Luther King. And uh, that's, that's the sense I'm getting here. So, and it is a tiny feeling of, uh, of danger here, right? And it's weird to say that in the morning when and there's good folks around, and it's just, I feel an anger here, like we've had enough. strike at the port and had already shut down the port. They have not shut it down, but they did go on strike. 